New Alfa Romeo Stelvio, all the details on Alfa's SUV. Julia-inspired SUV set to hit showrooms in 2017. We've got pictures and all the details. The long wait for the Alfa Romeo Stelvio is almost over. Alfa's first SUV was revealed at the Los Angeles Motor Show last month, and we now know it'll come with a starting price of £35,000 when it hits UK showrooms in 2017. Alfa has high hopes for the Stelvio, and it should easily become the firm's biggest seller. The Stelvio is the second model in what's set to be a big product charge from Alfa Romeo. The company's entire fleet will be overhauled by 2020 with the inclusion of all new models. Eight new Alphas will be on sale by the end of the decade, so expect six more cars over the coming years. The Stelvio uses the latest design language established by the new Julia Saloon, boasting the same new face and tail light design. Like that car, it makes its debut in range-topping Quadrofoglio form, using the same 503 bhp 2.9 liter twin turbo v6 as such the porsche macon turbo rival boasts huge performance 0 to 62 miles per hour is done in 3.9 seconds while top speed comes in at 177 miles per hour alpha says it will be the fastest suv around the nurburgring more everyday engine options will eventually appear too likely the same mix of petrols and diesels you'll find in the Giulia. Against the tape measure, the new Alfa Stelvio comes in at 4,680 mm long, 2,160 mm wide and 1,650 mm tall. That makes it almost identical in length to the Porsche, but significantly wider. Its design is heavily inspired by the Giulia Quadrifoglio, borrowing key styling cues such as the narrow lead headlamps, trademark shield-shaped grille and gaping air intakes. Body-colored side skirts with a carbon inserts, blistered wheel arches and quad exhausts are also unique to the range topper. On the standard Stelvio this extrovert styling will be toned down. The minimalist, driver-focused cabin uses a mixture of carbon fiber, wood, and fabrics. An 8.8-inch infotainment system is housed in the center of the dash and operated via the control wheel on the center console. The overall cabin architecture is carried over from the Julia, with the hooded instrument binnacles, undulating dashboard, and driver-focused controls. Alfa Romeo Stelvio SUV, chassis, engines, and performance. Similarities with the saloon extend beneath the skin, with the Stelvio underpinned by the same aluminium chassis made up of double wishbone front suspension and 4 and a half link set up at the rear and powered by the 503 bhp 2.9 liter twin turbo v6 in quadrifoglio form. The engine is paired with an 8-speed ZF automatic gearbox as standard, which Alpha claims can change gear in 150 milliseconds in race mode. Carbon ceramic brakes have also been fitted to help rein in all that power. Alpha's Q4 four-wheel drive system and torque vectoring technology has also been fitted to the Quadrifoglio. Under normal driving conditions the Stelvio sends 100 per center of its power to the rear axle, but the Q4 system continuously monitors torque split between the front and rear wheels. An active transfer case and front differential allow up to 50 per center of the engine's power to be transferred to the front axle. Combined with torque vectoring technology a first on any Alfa Romeo torque can then be optimized between the rear wheels individually thanks to two clutches in the rear axle. Along with the 2.9 liter twin turbo V6, Alfa has also confirmed a new 276 bhp 2.0 liter turbo will be available in the Stelvio, although it's not known whether this engine will be made available in the UK. Alpha's new 148 bhp and 178 bhp 2.2 liter diesels and lesser powered 197 bhp 2.0 liter turbo should be offered, with Alfa Romeo Europe boss Fabrizio Cursi saying in Europe we will have a pretty large lineup, including diesel engines and two-wheel drive. Alpha doesn't quote a weight figure for the Stelvio, but does claim a perfect 50 colon 50 weight distribution. Aluminium has been used extensively on the SUV, with a platform, engines, suspension, door, bonnet, and bootlet all made from the lightweight material. 
The Stelvio is expected to be the first of at least two other subs from Alfa Romeo. Reed Bigland, Alfa CEO, previously expressed an interest in developing a larger SUV based on the Maserati Levant's underpinnings. A smaller Audi Q3 SUV rival is also understood to be in the pipeline.